8th grade open up resources illustrative mathematics unit 6 lesson 3 what a point in a scatter plot means problem number one here is a point in a table and a scatter plot that compares points per game to free throw attempts for a basketball team during a tournament a circle the point that represents the data for player e the information tells us that player E averaged 3.1 free throw attempts per game and 10.4 points per game. So I would circle this point here. B. What does the point 2.1 and 18.6 represent? 2.1 and 18.6 represents the statistics for player B. C. In that same tournament, player O on the other team scored 14.3 points per game with 4.8 free throw attempts per game. Plot a point on the graph that shows this information. Starting at the origin in the lower left hand corner, I can move to the right 4.8 units to represent the free throw attempts per game. And then I can move up vertically 14.3 units to represent the points per game. The point for player O would be located right here. Problem number two from eighth grade unit six, lesson two. Select all the representations that are appropriate for comparing exam score to number of hours of sleeping the night before the exam. Those representations would be a scatter plot, and a table, so I would select B and D. Problem number three from eighth grade unit five, lesson 17. A cone has a volume of 36 times pi centimeters cubed and height H. Complete this table for volume of cylinders with the same radius but different heights. When the height is one H, the volume in centimeters cubed is 36 times pi. When you double one H, you have 2h. Since you doubled the height, you double the volume. 36 times 2 times pi is 72 times pi. For the next one, it's 5 times h. So we need to multiply 36 times 5 times pi. When the height is 5h, the volume is 180 times pi centimeters cubed. The next one is h over 2. That means the height divided by 2. Since we're dividing the height by 2, we have to divide the volume by 2. 36 divided by 2 is 16. So when the height is h over 2, the volume is 16 times pi centimeters cubed. The last one is h over 5. That means the height divided by 5. Since we're dividing the height by 5, we need to divide the volume by 5. 36 divided by 5 times pi centimeters cubed. We can leave this as an improper fraction, or we can write it as a decimal. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.